Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com. It's fireworks time. Um, you know, when autumn hits, we start getting into um, Halloween, fireworks, bonfire night, Diwali, um, building up to New Year's Eve. Um, fireworks start landing in the shops and there is an increase in antisocial behaviour associated with them. But more importantly, there is also a serious increase in the number of injuries and people admitted to hospital or, or turning up in A&E needing treatment for fire related, firework related injuries. In fact, um, there were four and a half thousand people needing treatment um, last year. Uh, and that includes nearly 500 children that required treatment following injuries with sparklers. Now, a lot of people think that sparklers are safe fireworks. Sparklers get as hot as a blowtorch and we give them to small kids and we say, here, wave them around. So they need to be supervised seriously. They can have fun with them, but be sensible. We've written a blog that clearly takes you through some sensible precautions to minimize the risk for, from injuries with fireworks. And also, it gives you first aid tips if somebody's burnt, if they end up with sparks in their eye, um, if they have smoke inhalation, or any of the other sort of relatively common injuries that happen around this year. So important things, if you're having a display at home, make sure that you've got a first aid kit and you know how to use it. You've got sand and you've got um, saline, um, which you can use to irrigate um, if somebody's got something in their eyes. Make sure you've also got access to copious amounts of cool running water in case somebody's burnt. There are all sorts of top tips that we have heard about and rules about fireworks and the fireworks code. Please don't store fireworks in your pocket. Um, please don't set them off with a naked flame. Um, use a taper um, um, and you know that obviously is a naked flame but with a longer taper rather than a, um, a lighter which is obviously very short. Um, think very carefully. You're setting off explosives. So stand well back. Make sure the person you know, hosting the, the display and, and setting off the fireworks is not consuming alcohol because they need to have their wits about them. Make sure that the fireworks have got the British safety standard and that they are big enough or rather your garden is big enough um, to house the fireworks that you're buying and they haven't got too many overhanging trees and things that um, could pose, pose a risk. Ensure that people watching the fireworks are well back. Ideally, if they've got you know, windows like this, they would be inside and the fireworks would be let off outside so that they can see them from, set, from a safe distance and from behind glass where they're safe. With sparklers, don't give them to under fives and make sure that children are wearing gloves when they're holding sparklers. Have some sand for them to put spent sparklers out in because hot sparklers will remain hot for a long time. If they pick them up, they will burn themselves and it will be a serious burn. Um, with any burns, run them under or run the area under cool running water for a full 20 minutes. Now we've got another blog all about how to reduce the, um, the effects of a burn, so minimize the amount of scarring and tissue damage and actually speed up the recovery. Um, so the best treatment for a burn. Um, if there's sparks in the eyes and things, irrigate, ideally with your sterile saline or with running water. Um, if there's anything embedded in, in the eye, you need to get them to an eye hospital as quickly as possible. Um, have a read of our blogs. I'm going to link them below um, this Facebook Live. Stay safe at um, this firework display and please don't be one of those statistics. So fireworks are fun, I love them, but be safe and sensible. And also don't forget the impact they have on our pets. Um, pets are petrified. They have no idea what time of year it is and what to expect. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and onlinefirstaid.com.